Hello and welcome back to another unboxing. It's been a little bit of a while since I did one. Try and remember how this goes. Today I'm unboxing the Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes Pazuzu Edition. Try saying that five times fast. So it's just arrived. Um, just came in the post. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little look at it. I pre-ordered this from the Bandai Namco website. I think that's the only place that you could get this and it's sold out pretty quickly. So unfortunately, if you're looking to get a copy of your own, you're going to have to look at resellers who are willing to let go of it. Anyway, enough of that, let's get going. Okay, so the game is packaged separately from the Pazuzu edition itself. So let's put the boxes down. So the game is a standard copy. I chose to get this on the PlayStation 5 and it is a barcoded copy. So it's not a not for resale copy. So yeah, standard copy of the game. Let's move on to the ooh, House of Ashes Pazuzu. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So we have an exterior box. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, so it's all hell breaks loose. That's clever, that's cool. So um yeah, clearly I know they've cited the descent as an inspiration for this game, but clearly it, the imagery of Pazuzu alone just set screams exorcist. But there's lots of cool um I'm hoping that as we go as I get further into the game, I haven't started playing it yet, um, that more um themes will be explored and shown. So it opens up ooh, like so. Ooh. And then on the top here, we got a little something. Ooh, and it fell out. The little something fell out. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so the little box that it fell out of actually opens up. That's cool. So I don't know whether or not you can use that as a display stand or what maybe maybe that's what you're meant to do with this i'm sure we'll find out ah oh, cool so we've got the little uh eclipse pin this will go nicely with the pins i have from the previous collector's editions or limited editions it's worth noting if you are a member of the epic reward system on Bandai Namco's website, they actually have these things for purchase with your epic points and you earn epic points with the purchase of brand new games. So you, when you open up your brand new copy of the game, inside there will be a 12 digit code or however many digits, something 16 digit code, um, and you earn points through their loyalty scheme. And they have been selling, so they haven't got these ones, but they have got the Little Hope and Man of Medan pins, as well as the cloth map and the steel book that you all saw in my unboxing from last year. All that's on the rewards site if you want to get those. But yeah, I like that, that's cool. And then there's only one more thing in the box. Oh no, there's two things in the box. I lied, there's two. I'll get the other thing out in a second. Actually, I'll get the other thing out now because <laughs> okay. So it is oh, it's the stickers. So we have a sticker collage here. I never really know what to do with stickers. I think I've said this before. I tend to keep them as they are, uh, but if anyone's got creative or cool suggestions on how to use stickers, then please 
put it in the comments. Ah, oh, and then we've got like this cool kind of movie poster kind of thing going on here. That is awesome. It does, it looks like a straight up horror movie poster. That's great, I love that. That's more than likely gonna end up in a frame at some point. I'm gonna put that back in the little envelope. Okay, so now for the main attraction and that is the Pazuzu statue. As you can see, it's not gonna be very big. I don't know if it comes assembled or if I've got to put it together myself. We're about to find out. <gasps> Oh, the sticky tabs are leaving sticky residue. I hate this. No. Ugh. Okay, I'm trying my very best not to. Oh, I've decided to open it from the bottom. That was strange, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm using my glasses <laughs> to open this. Hey. There you go, kids' glasses are a much safer way of opening these things than knives. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Ooh. Oh, I thought there was something like maybe in the base then. But no, there we go, so. So we're gonna focus on these. Oh, focus on these, please. Sorry. Okay. So it looks like these are the like little monsters that are roaming around underground somewhere. But well, that's cool. So it's only about I don't know. I'd say it's about five inches by three inches, maybe something like that. That's cute. That's gonna look really nice next to all the other things that I have. Um, unfortunately, the, the size of the box doesn't do it just, uh, is a little bit more over promising than what you think it's going to be, but that's still cool. I think in regards to how much I paid for this, it was quite reasonable really. It was 50, no, 49.99 uh, with shipping and tax on top of that. But you know, that's just the way it is now. Uh, so it was 50 pounds, uh, PS5. So when you bear in mind, most standard versions of games are about that price anyway now um, and going back to the epic reward system you can actually exchange your points for a 20 percent off coupon so i used that coupon so i think i well i got 20 percent off i think i saved 10 pounds yeah i think i got 10 pounds knocked off of this so really i only paid 39.99 with the shipping and tax included so that's not bad but there you go in fact before we wrap this up let's unwrap the game because i can't remember if this came with a soundtrack or not i don't know if the code's inside probably not There is a code in here. Okay, that code is for my epic points. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Hang on, let's see if I can get this covered up. Because there are some scoundrels out there that keep taking my codes. Actually, you know, it happened once. Um, yeah, so the epic reward system. I do recommend it. I've gotten some neat stuff through there. But that's it. So in terms of the soundtrack, I don't think it comes with one on this occasion, which is fair enough. But there you go. That is the House of Ashes Pazuzu edition. We've got our pin. I think. Ah, oh, I get it now. That's cool. We've got our little demon creature. We've got our game. And we've got the stickers as well. And our little movie poster. That's really cool. I'm happy with that. I'm really just keen to get playing, to be honest. Uh, I'm already seeing people trying not to spoil it online. Well, you know, people tweeting and commenting about it. And I'm just like, it's day one. It's just come out. Please just shush. <laughs> I'm going to go. But, ah, but whilst we're on the subject, you heard it here first. Bloody Disgusting reported l earlier on this year, I think, that the next game, so the fourth game, they kind of accidentally leaked 
the copyright that they, they'd put through for it and I think it's called um, the, something to do with the devil oh, the, oh, I've actually forgotten what it's called anyway but at the time I did a little bit of digging and the only part on the map that they haven't explored yet is that Wisconsin area um, the Great Lakes area no, no, Wisconsin, um, Michigan I don't know why I keep saying Wisconsin um, the Great Lakes area on the cloth map go back to my other video you're the bit that I couldn't remember and um, doing some research there's actually a devil's triangle in that area and it's kind of like the Bermuda Triangle so they've had like ships and stuff just go missing with no real evidence to support what happened to them um, and I think they've been there's been reports of, like ghosts and things like that in that area so um, I'll be honest with you that sounds very much like Man of Medan so I very much doubt they're gonna go with that direction again but if it ends up being anything to do with the Devil's Triangle. You heard it here first. I cracked the code. I, I'm on the case. I, I, I am the all benevolent knowing power. Thanks to bloody disgusting for reporting it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find out. I'm, I'm sure we'll get a trailer at the end of the uh, of the main game to find out. Anyway, that's uh, let's uh, dive uh, back to the main road here. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, um, then please let me know. Leave comments. I always like hearing from you guys. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Bye. <laughs>